Hi guys, I am Trish with Unique Me 303 Helene Empowerment. I'm going to be doing the Ascension messages for the next few days. However, if you see this reading at a different time and it resonates with you, then this message is meant for you. But this will be for the 13th through the 15th of July 2022. But like I said, if it resonates with you and you see it two years later, then that spirit's way of telling you that it's for you. I hope everybody's doing okay today. I'm not doing too bad. I just got off of work. My head's still hurting. However, it's easing up quite a bit today. So much better than it was yesterday. So hopefully those of you who are also um, experiencing that type of ascension symptom, hopefully it's starting to get better for you as well. So the Four of Swords tells me that many of us are in a need of resting, taking time to uh, do self-love, self-care. Some of you may even feel a lot of ascension symptoms right now. I'm, that's what I'm getting with this one. But uh, for some of you, it's bringing on a lot of need for rest. Many of you are also going through a time of figuring out money arrangements. 111, guys, look that up on Sacred Scribes. What, what I mean by that is either there's an energy of um, need for or finding some sort of resolution when it comes to money matters, meaning needing more money. So for those of you who this resonates with, there may be situations that are going to come up that um, you're being asked to trust in this door that's opening so that you can go into a different career or maybe uh, choose a, um, some sort of business path where you become an entrepreneur, something of that sort. But there's solutions that are coming for many of you. It's due to the rest that you're receiving. You're finally starting to get accurate messages of how this door is going to open, what you need to do when it does open. Um, there may be even more than one door opening, but um, it, it's saying that things may not just be as they seem. It may seem like you're going through a really rough patch right now, that things are never going to get better. You're never going to make any more money. Whatever it is, it has to do with your money. But what Spirit is saying is that you're really in this initiation period. We do have 474. Look that up. I was going to say 44, but they told me to do all all three of these. 474 or 44. But anyway, we're moving into an energy of becoming more stable. The Emperor is a card of stability, improvements, things coming together, um, knowing exactly what you want and going after that energy. And um, I do feel for some of you, you're still feeling a little bit off balance. However, um, that off balance feeling I feel is more of like a tower moment from the universe kind of uh, directing things in the right way to go for whatever it is that you've been asking for or working towards or what have you but um, some of you might even feel a little bit tricked from the universe for whatever reason with the seven of cups I'm feeling as if some of you are really thinking that something really looks great uh, from the way that it looks, the way that either this person acts or the way that this job seems or, you know, the way that this spiritual gift is developing or what have you, it seems a lot uh, different than what it's actually going to end up. So this could be for the good or the bad. Um, take it how it resonates with you. But I do feel like a lot of you are in need for rest just so you can get reconnected with the truth of what your intuition is telling you, your inner knowings, higher self, maybe even your guides or what have you. But uh, signs and synchronicities they're also saying but there's many different ways that um, you're looking at things that shouldn't be looked at so I feel like many of you um, on the negative aspects are making things seem a lot better than what they actually are and for others of you, take again, take how it resonates. You're you're making things seem way worse than what they actually are, and it's uh, kind of holding you back from something. So if you're feeling like you're being held back, and you keep getting these intuitive messages to move in a totally different direction, then make sure that you're doing so. But um, rest is really going to bring a lot of uh, truth, you know, revelations of truth. A lot of you may be confused about some things that are happening, but. Um, Look beyond any uncertainty that you have and connect through meditation. Um, ask for truth. Set intentions on receiving truth of the situation. Whatever it is that you may be seeing differently than the way the universe intends for you to see it, ask for that to be revealed to you even. So many of you are becoming 
the Queen of Cups. Many are moving into um, development, aligning of the divine feminine energies. This doesn't matter if you are a male or a female. You're, um, I feel like developing is the right word to say, but developing those skills and those uh, qualities that come along with being the divine uh, feminine or having the divine feminine energy um, balanced and aligned, which means you're somebody who's nurturing. Um, I'm even feeling stability with this card, even though I don't know why, but I'm feeling stability coming out with the queen of, uh, queen of cups. I about said queen of wands, but anyway, the queen of cups, but this is a, a energy of like nurturing, um, intuition, somebody who, um, feels and thinks with their heart instead of like the masculine with their mind and ego. So development of things of that sort. But I feel like this person, I mean, this card is also representing an energy that's giving to others, but also at the same time, remembering that it, it's okay to receive back. So um, some of you may have some sort of programming that's told you that, um, what am I trying to say? Totally just had a complete blackness. So I guess I'm not meant to tell you guys that, but um, yeah, I'm not getting it now. So it must have not been meant for you guys to hear. Feel like this one is wanting to come out as well so you're asked to take any kind of mask off whatever mask you have on that that you're not showing people the real you for some of you this is in a connection so maybe you're not being completely honest with your feelings with yourself and with the other person involved it doesn't matter if this is referring to like a romantic connection a connection with a friend family member co-worker a, an employer it doesn't really matter this is saying that there's something that you're not allowing to be heard or seen or uh, something of that sort. It could just be that you're not sharing a certain talent that you have. And Spirit's asking you to take those masks off, be comfortable, um, or face the fears until you become comfortable with showing whoever, the world, uh, your partner, your, your um, employer, what have you, the real you. So it's about opening up. I feel like some of you are like in that introvert energy and kind of needing to switch into the extrovert energy for whatever reason. But for a lot of us, we are starting to get creative ideals, inspiring ideals that are helping us to move forward in a project or situation. This could be referring to, again, connections like this is this is talking about. But I do feel like for most of us, these inspired or creative ideals have to do with this um, money improvement, a business endeavor, becoming an entrepreneur, um, a practice of some sort. For some of you, this is referring to a practice of something. Could be healing work, I, I, anything, but inspired ideals are coming, creative even. Um, which cards do I go to, please? They're telling me to go back to these. Guys, give me just one second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to blow my nose real quick, guys, for whatever reason. It all of a sudden just started to run, so I wanted to blow my nose. Okay, so connecting with people who are like-minded, already going through the same type of journey that maybe you're going through, or maybe they've already gotten through the type of experiences that you're going through. For many of you that are watching this, you're newly awakened. Not all of you, but for many of you, you're newly awakened. So you're starting to feel all kinds of ascension symptoms. Um, watch my ascension symptom video if you're not used to uh, understand or you don't understand what those are. There's a few uh, quite a few different symptoms that you could have. But anyway, this is asking you to get connected with those people that have already been through these some of these experiences that you've went through. Also, they're telling me to get connected with meditation. While connecting in meditation, set intentions right before you start to meditate that you're wanting to awaken to tel telepathy that has to do with connection with your angels, guides, what have you, sourcey connections maybe even. But this is also referring to getting connected um, with them, your guides, um, your star seed connections if you're a star seed if, if you resonate with that um, which cards do I go to please they're taking me back to these again what other messages do you have for us please thank you so turning the gaze within is 
going to be a pretty big deal right now. I do feel like some of you are in this forced energy of having to take a look at some things. Um, for many of you, this is looking at past relationships, looking at some things that may have happened in your childhood, uh, ways that you were programmed to believe a certain thing and realizing now that you're starting to awaken, the more awakened that you become, more things are changing and shifting to where you don't truly uh, believe that it is the way that you was taught and it may be different, 10-10. But for a lot of you, you're, um, you know, just transforming and going through multiple levels physically mentally emotionally spiritually energetically awakenings okay so um really uh doing whatever it is to focus on trusting the inner self that inner voice um your uh inner knowings your intuitive type feel uh feelings or flashes that you may get but um really learning a lot about trusting in the intuition is probably something that most of you are going through not these thank you what other messages do you have for us for the next three days for all those who are already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process, please? What other messages do you have for the next few days? Woo, am I supposed to take all of those? They said yes. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. Okay, so just like I was saying, many of you are going through just multiple levels, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually type of awakenings. Many of you are feeling very emotionally challenged. One minute, very, very highs, um, you know, joy, peace, serenity, things of that sort. And then the next minute, you're like, holy hell, I just don't know if I can go on. I have been crying for hours and I'm done with crying. I don't even know what the hell I'm crying over type of deal. However, whatever it is that you're going through and healing and keep having these intuitive flashes or these repeated uh, thoughts about it's bringing on more stability, more understanding and awakening, um, multiple awakenings. I'm just feeling like multiple awakenings, but it's bringing on more establishing type of energies, um, uh, energies of becoming more stable and complete. This isn't going to resonate with everybody with the complete part, but becoming more stable should. Um, which ones do I do? Let's see. How do I set these up, please? Okay, so, thank you. Many of you are receiving direction in exactly which way you should go, what you need to study at this time. Um, for many of you, this is not even like really talking about learning what you're calling or purposes. This is more about direction on how to heal a certain aspect. Uh, how to become more aware of something, how to let go of something, how to get connected with your uh, telepathy, um, intuition, the inner knowings, all of these things. There's like probably a hundred things that spirit is awakening to you right now. So a lot of overwhelming feelings, feelings of being separate from others, um, the feeling of wanting to isolate, but at the same time wanting to be around other people. But as soon as you get around other people, you're just like, I just can't do this. I don't know why, but I can't be around anybody right now. This is Spirit's way of saying, we need you to just stay put, be alone for a little bit. There's some things that you're going through that maybe just because you're going through it, you might lash out and say the wrong things to somebody or um, you, you, I mean, so many different things could happen. But what they're saying is to have compassion for yourself. Try not to judge the process that you're going through the types of directions that are being given to you even if the direction that's being given to you isn't fully something that you understand it's just something that your intuition's telling you and you don't know if you can trust it but however spirits like follow through try not to judge exactly what's going on but be in the flow go with the flow things of that sort which is going to help you guys to um i feel like I don't know why, but settling down in your energy. It's going to help you to settle, feel like you're settling down in your energy. Um, kind of had a little bit of a brain fart there for a second. So they're taking me back to this card. Sinbar is all about connection with um, organization, getting things together. Maybe there's uh, some la last minute uh, finishing touches that you need to put on a situation or a relationship or something like that. But I feel a lot of organization, getting things put together. Um, what have you. I do think that this organization is referring to 
prioritizing uh, what kind of things you need to put your time and energy into. Is it going to be beneficial? Is it going to help you to heal something, to evolve, to awaken something more? Uh, what have you? If it's the answer is yes, then keep putting time and energy into it. Maybe put it at the top of your priority list. If it's something that's a no, then put it at the bottom of your priority list and start doing and putting time and energy into those things that are at the top of it. Again, you're receiving direction as to uh, what you need to be doing. Pay attention to what's repeating. That's the big deal. What is repeating? If it's a message that is coming from spirit, you'll know it's from spirit because it'll be of love, inspiration, guidance, um, celebration. If it's something of a distracting spirit, something that is meant to throw you off course just to see if you'll get right back on course or whatever it is, that's what those negative type of spirits are meant for is to distract us so that we have to experience more and blah, 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 blah. If it is, then you send it love. I know that sounds weird, but most people fear them instantly. That fear keeps them here. Okay, so when you start to fear them, say, okay, you know what? You may have scared me for a minute, but I know that I'm divinely protected. And you're going to be that care bearer and you're going to send love right out of your um, heart space to that energy. Whether or not you see it, just imagine light going to whatever it is that's distracting your thoughts, your what have you. So communication is going to be a really big deal right now. This could be talking about physical communication, but for many of you, I feel like this is uh, communication that's coming in telepathically from those inner voices. Um, many of you are probably having like pain or ringing in the ear right before you're starting to receive some sort of information coming from spirit. So really pay attention because those things that um, are happening when your ears ringing and things of, of that sort are definitely spirit's way of of getting you. you may even have flashes in your eyes that may be another indicator that happens to me quite a bit which cords like thank you what other messages do you have for the next few days for all those who are already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process and all those who are newly awakened please what messages do you have for us for the next few days please ascension messages for all those aware they're on an ascension journey going through an awakening process or all those newly awakened. Am I supposed to continue with these? Okay, I thought so. They told me to switch these around. Okay, so the need for escaping a situation, a relationship, the feelings that you may be going through because of a situation or a connection or a relationship, the need to just like get away, think about it, um, observe some, some things a little bit differently. I'm sorry if the camera keeps moving. My dog's underneath the table and he keeps hitting the, the thing. But um, the need to just kind of get away. But what I am feeling from this is for a lot of you that isolation is going to be a, a really good thing because it's going to help you to see that not everything that you think is a certain way really is the way that it is again take it whether it's something negative it's it might actually be something positive that you're that you should be thinking and if you're thinking something positive um it may be the opposite maybe it's not going to work out as good as what you think so i i do believe that really um awareness and light is going to be shed in many uh different things right now but a lot of us and I feel like this is a lot of those that are in the masculine energy and not so much focusing on um, nurturing the feminine aspect, which means a lot of you are in your logical thinking, overthinking, underthinking, um, maybe even feeling like you need to be in control of some things because, and this could be in a bad way or a good way, but feeling in control of some things. So the need for nurturing the self paying attention to the intuition instead of just constantly being up in here but paying attention to the intuition the heart what is it speaking to you and really figuring out um through asking for confirmation through other people places and things um by asking spirit to confirm through signs and synchronistic events and what's going to happen is those things will be shown to you and that's going to help you to to navigate through a decision or to help you become more stable with your emotions um, or maybe it'll just help you to see like these fears are really useless it just wastes a lot of energy but there's a lot of a lot of different areas in which we are awakening at this time which cards look at thank you that told me these again 
What other messages do you have for us for the next few days, please? Ascension messages for the next few days. For all those who are newly awakened or already awakened and going through an ascension process. Thank you. There it is. I was told one more and it didn't want to come. So just like I was telling you with the Emperor and the Queen of Cups, a lot of you are becoming more stable or either you're going through some experiences that are challenging you in a way to have to release and heal and look at things a little bit differently so that you can become more uh, established and stable. But what I'm feeling right now is many of you are focusing on self uh, so that you can become more independent. Um, Maybe not so codependent on other people to help you to, to be happy. Or maybe some of you who are uh, one of those that feels like they always have to be in a relationship or they're never going to be okay. Things like that. But this is also talking about, for some of you, financial security. Or just, you know, um, not having to worry about finances constantly. Always having your bills paid. Things of that sort. For some of you, you've been struggling with that. And this is one of the things that's shifting. But a lot of you are... Um, really figuring out some things that have to do with getting your shit together. And this could even be referring to why the, it's on top of the business card. Because for some of you, this is referring to starting a business. 2112, guys. Look that up on Sacred Scribes. But for some of you, this independence is because you're starting your own practice. You're starting your own business. There's something that you're putting together that is going to pr provide more for you. Um and, and this independence doesn't just mean like financial independence or being on your on your own. This could mean that your emotions uh, don't take you all over the place and you're more together with that. And then we have authority. This is referring to like the surrender card. This is God, the universe, the angels, whatever it is that you think of as being like a higher power for you, being in control for a while. And um, I do feel like the this God, source God, the universe, the angels, what have you, having authority over you and being in control right now is really helping you to see things a little differently. For many of you, you're realizing like this, I don't have to do it all on my own. As long as I'm following the intuition and the suggestions that my inner knowings 2211 is given me, then um, I'm always going to know exactly what I need to do. I'm always going to be in the right place at the right time. Things are always just going to uh, work out just as they should. But um, many of you have kind of like taken the back seat and said, okay, spirit, I don't understand why I'm crying all the time, why I'm having to let go of this, this, and that, uh, why I'm feeling the need to push myself in this direction instead of this direction, but I'm going to trust. I don't know why I'm trusting, but I just know that if I trust, that something is going to come out of it. <coughs> Again, not judging the situation, the event, the energies that you might be healing or going through or what have you, but just sitting back and saying, I don't have to do it all, all on my own. I, I know that you've got me, meaning the universe, the angels, or what have you. Which cards are getting? They're showing me this, these again. Okay. What other messages do you have for us, please? Thank you. <laughs> so, this is so funny. We ha It's just a confirmation of what I was saying. We have two God cards. Source God, the universe, uh, something being in control for a moment instead of you. Something that has given you some sort of um, guidance. It's an authoritative, uh, authoritative type figure. They're showing me the triangles. There's a lot of triangles on both of these cards. And triangles, when you... Um, two, three, four, five guys look that up as well. But triangles, when you think of a triangle being around you, when you're meditating, it enhances the effects of the energies that you're feeling. So I'm not for sure exactly why I feel like it has something to do with the Trinity, but I was also told to tell you guys 10, 10. So look up 10, 10 as well. But, um, I feel like a lot of you are probably having a hard time letting this God figure, universe, angels, what have you, take control for a while. Um, for some of you, it's very hard for you to sit in the back seat and let God drive. But what I'm feeling is the more that you do this, the easier it is for you to allow that to happen. And the more accepting you are of the um, things that are shifting and changing. Yes, I do feel divine protection, guys. So if, if you're 
feeling like, holy shit, I just can't work through and process this stuff because if I do, I'm, um, you know, just feeding into the negative stuff. It's not really that. It's you're meant to go through the darkness to get to the light. So many of you are even feeling that. Um, which cards do I go to, please? That's what I thought. Guys, if you're interested in winning a full reading giveaway, make sure that you are um, liking this video as well as putting your name or an affirmation down in the comments. And like always, please make sure that you like, share, subscribe, follow. If there's any... Um, Thing that resonates with you let us know that it resonates with you that's just a way of helping my channel to grow i appreciate everybody who does so also i do have a facebook group it is called healings readings empowerment and more with trish poe this is a place where i do free and paid readings uh usually about anywhere from two to three times a week so you might want to go check that out Make sure that you become a member or I won't be able to see your comments and you won't get a reading from me. Um, 2552. So the first card that came out with these is the, um, the, I can't ever say it right, the slith, which is a card of disappointment. This could, this could mean that some of you um, are disappointed with some of the ways in which you were programmed growing up to believe certain things and now you're fi finding out because of this awakening that a lot of things that you thought were true were not true so there's a lot of disappointment that's going to come however i do even feel um like a grieving process for some of you i had a big major grieving process um a lot of it had to do with my religion i have been christian my whole entire life i still believe in a lot of the christian things um jesus has always been my best friend uh, however, I, I'm a Bible reader. When I would read the Bible, things just didn't sit right with me. And then finally, after I started meditating, I was told to start reading the Bible again. And as I was, I was reading it, I would be shown these major things that have been changed, falsities. People uh, rewrote certain things or took certain things out of certain religious texts and made it no longer truthful. And then there were other parts where I would just know that I'd know that I'd know and my heart would feel real full and blissful that God was speaking to me and showing me this is truth. This is exactly what you need to know. So some of you are going to go through a grieving process and being a little bit upset with the fact that you've been lied to your whole entire life. Well, remember, we all have. OK, don't take it out on the people that may have told you certain things or, you know, what have you. It's more it's more like the whole world has been lied to. OK, so many of you are finding that out as well, that there's something uh, in a negative aspect that is in control. Any of these? Do I take these? These. Okay, so um, that, that there's beings that are in control of some things in, the un in, in our planet, not in the universe, but in our planet. And um, even those truths you're awakening to. So the next, okay. As you're going through this time of finding more independence, um, There's going to be like a tower moment. These moments where you're like, what the flip is happening? Everything at 654, guys, they told me to tell you. Look that up. But anyway, what the hell is happening? I feel like I'm doing all of this shifting and changing and, and really trying to work out of the heart and not the ego and all this stuff to try to get to this place of success. But I just keep feeling like the universe is pulling and, and pushing me in multiple directions and I can't take it. It's a lot to handle. However, remember that as you're challenged with all these pushes and pulls from the universe, that it's actually just the universe rearranging things to be the way that you've asked for them to be. You're healing such and such. You're letting go of such and such. You're uh, becoming more aware of such and such. So adjustments have to be made. The universe is adjusting things around so that you can be exactly where you need to be. And so eventually there will be a breakthrough energy, which will take you to this energy of prosperous feelings, abundance, abundance of time, energy, uh, joy, maybe uh, finances, but this is a success card in any way you see uh, that that resonates with you. That's what that, that means. It could be a lucky, uh, a lucky card too. Um, for a few of you, somebody has the key to your heart. <laughs> so if you've been wondering, yes, they have the key to your heart. 
so they're taking me back to this card. I haven't shared it yet, but they're taking me back to this card. This is a coffin. The coffin could be referred to a couple different things. For some of you, as you're going through the processing of the ego, I feel like this is a lot for uh, the males coming into their feminine, more into their feminine energy instead of depending on their masculine energy. And a lot of this feelings of having to divert evil or negativity, darkness, is going to be felt just because that's exactly what you're doing. Okay, so um, prayer, meditation, asking spirit to make sure that they're guiding, leading, and instructing you, showing you exactly the way that you're supposed to be going and things of that sort. And you will get to this place of feeling more together, um, like things are just um, shifting and changing. You'll see that. Remember not to judge the process okay have compassion for yourself you're going to going through some major shifting and changing um so a lot of symptoms are being felt am i supposed to continue with any of these okay they are showing me the bottom is a house which is also a card of success this could be referring to some of you changing addresses it doesn't have to but um it could be referring to some of you changing addresses so I'm going to get us a couple of blessing cards. Actually, I was told a blessing card, which there it is, and popsicle sticks. Okay, they gave us three of them. Blessing without borders. In essence, we are all living energy flowing through the ocean of human consciousness. Spiritual beings moving through cycles of life, birth, death, and rebirth. We are all interconnected and in communion with each other. No matter how much physical space appears to us, feel the blessed presence of someone that you love this moment in your heart. I am in a state of mastering. I will push through any insecurities I may have. Makes sense with all of this ego energy over here, having to, to look within, um, things of that sort, makes complete sense to me. I am connected with discernment. So many of you are learning to use that gut instinct. Uh, more Also go with more of those heartfelt knowings instead of what the logic or the ego is telling you. Uh, remember, the ego is meant to protect us. Okay, so a lot of times when we fear, it's because we think that we need protected from something that could possibly happen. Not necessarily something that will happen, but something that could possibly happen. And our ego does that because of things that have already happened. I am connected with other dimensions. So many of you may be feeling like you're kind of zoning out, don't know exactly where you're going to, don't really remember uh, maybe even getting from point A to point B in your car and just completely like, how the hell did I make it here safe? Because I don't remember this drive at all. That's because you're probably not in the driver's seat. This is God or angels or what have you being in control and taking you to some place else so that you can get a different perspective so that you can grow a little bit more i mean a million gazillion things could be happening okay guys i hope that you got something out of this reading please like share subscribe and follow uh hook up with my facebook group so that you guys can get um free or paid readings from me uh, i can't do live on here until i get a thousand um subscribers so make sure that if this reading resonates with you or any of my videos help you in any way shape or form to consider sharing the videos all right guys have a wonderful day 33 22 much love to you guys bye